gods and goddesses i am having a little bit of a technical difficulty i'm not really sure what exactly is going on with my phone and the speakers um i really wish that there was a way for me to see if i continue to go in and out or whatnot so we're just gonna go with the flow and then somehow i'll try to if it winds up being too low throughout the video so I don't lose the content, I will um, do some research on how to up possibly up the volume from a different source. So, without further ado, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you stay here and stay tuned. All right, I try to post as frequently as I can, okay? For those of you who are vets, you already know pretty much like my journey where i'm at and what is going on because i try to keep it as transparent as possible here on my channel so this is going to be a general reading for the collective okay normally i do pisces divine feminine or just um educational type of videos but today i'm just going to switch it up and do divine masculine divine feminine um, I'm going to be cleansing my hands with, ooh, with Florida water. I already cleansed the space with Florida water, okay, prior to this. Um, so, yeah, this reading is going to be something along the lines of, like, what took place in your most recent past life if there's any you know family secrets just anything that you may feel is having an effect on you whether good or bad okay you know this existence is all about duality the highs and lows the feminine the masculine the yin and the yang the light and the dark okay the angel versus the demon that's just the reality so I do also want to tell you that in front of me, I have four goddesses, Ishtar Communion 23, all right? So I feel like between the next year is going to be all about communion with others and rebirth, okay? I feel like a lot of you at this time need to have communion with your femininity, your feminine energy and this is for males as well okay for too long we've been the collective as in general okay there isn't enough masculine king gods out here leading the feminine the woman the wife because the wife and the husband the feminine the masculine are also without a god okay they're their father figures i've been talking about this a lot in my personal life and all of that okay my workplace um all of that so i feel like from the year 23 to 24 there is going to be a communion with others as well as a communion with yourself your feminine energy all right a part of you is going to be birth so we've got ishtar communion isis rebirth and also for some of you this is an age all right from the ages 23 to 24 you may have came into union with someone else whether it be friendship relationship significant relationship work career all right and you've been doing a lot of work so it's so beautiful, right? The four goddesses that I have up here, the numbers are 23, 24, and then we have Shakti and Sophia. Wow, and they both start with S. Look at that is Isis Ishtar, I-I-S-S. -S. That's dope, and that is definitely synchronistic. So is, is yes. If any of you have been wondering what you should do or basically, let's break it down to a yes or no question, because C is yes in Spanish, right? So if any of you have been pondering, the answer is yes. 
this may even have to do with a communion being reborn transformation coming from divine wisdom okay so we have shakti there's a lot all of these women have headdresses so there's a lot of divine knowledge and wisdom being downloaded into i'm getting like you and your person you and your not necessarily a person it does like i said it can be completely platonic This is twin flame energy. So we have six, eight, six, eleven, June eleventh, maybe of significance. Eleven six, maybe significance. November six. Wow. The year ninety five. Nineteen ninety five. Sorry, I'm just adding all of these together so we've got four plus two over here four plus two over here bear with me y'all hmm. so i'm hearing like be be calm be steady i know it's hard right now but like that's shakti i feel like she looks tired transformation is not easy some of you may have heavy Scorpio placements or dealing with the Scorpio, so is it is what it is. I S is sis sissy S I S I sissy. So some of you may you know have a sister or sisters or you are a sister. My divine feminines out there. Some of you may even have been bullied because <clears throat> I'm getting like sissy is um I don't know I'm channeling a lot because this is a general collective reading Woo! all right <clears throat> at this time I just want to show you that and I haven't even invoked my team yet all right um we are going to start off in invoking my team of course my entourage you know what I'm saying um, but then we're going to start off the reading with gratitude. Gratitude is the highest frequency next to love, okay? If you aren't grateful for what you have, you will not obtain more in your life, okay? All right, so at this time, I want to invoke my Ascended Masters, the Ascended Masters, and the Seven Rays, okay? The Archangels. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, as well as Sandolphin, Ariel, Uriel, Metatron, and I'm feeling a lot of ancestral energy, so I'm also going to invoke um, Anubis at this time. I'm hearing Grim Reaper. All right, Psycho Pump. All right. So I'll, okay, both of them, I guess. I'll give offerings after. Um, please help assist me because I'm definitely feeling some energy from a past on loved one. Where loved ones, of course, this is a general reading, but I need somebody. A Psycho Pump is basically somebody who helps you and takes you to the underworld, the afterlife, and assists you on that journey to be able to commune with them okay for those of you who don't know um let me actually get some change real quick Hold on. Okay, so I've got some change and then I also have some ancestor money that was in my wallet. All right, so this is to pay the toll, all right, as an offering pretty much. This is a $5 bill, okay. Bank of England, that's dope. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, and then also 
I would like to also call on my ancestors, known and unknown. Only beings of light and love are able to enter this sacred space, okay? Also, my spirit guides, please step forward. My elementals, my fairies, all right? Please allow me to hear what I need to hear. Allow me to relay what I need to relay. Allow my hands to be guided to the correct cards for the divine collective. Allow me to channel precisely, concisely to what it is that the collective needs to hear at this time about their past lives and how they are playing. Sorry, I'm channeling a lot. This is deep. Okay. Okay, so all of this is related to your north node and south node, all right? And I do do birth charts, a little bit, birth chart readings if you are interested. <clears throat> Um, your north node and south node, I'm not going to get too deep into it because I'm really trying to get into the reading and I've already extended this intro way past what my intentions were. Y'all know I can, you know, once I start channeling, it's like I just be going blah, 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 Okay, so we're going to start off with gratitude, but one thing I wanted to mention is this reading is all about looking into and finding out your north node and south node placements. Those are essential for what is going to play out in this lifetime all right the roles the gifts the talents that you obtained in past lives the lessons that you learned in past lives how to go about fulfilling your purposes because i feel like so many people are sitting around wondering waiting what their purpose is when they don't realize that they're living their purpose for that moment right then and there Whatever purpose, whatever, wherever you are right now in your life, you are there on purpose, for purpose, but you need to take proper steps through this, through astrology, through self, through truth, through your truth, seek and dig and find out what is nectar for your soul what feeds your soul if you are not emotionally satisfied and connected with what it is that you want to do what you want your purpose to be you will not be fulfilled you will be stuck in the system that you're stuck in now especially if you're in a nine to five you need to if you want a soul driven life if you want a purposeful driven life you have to first understand and figure out what it is that you want what feeds your soul okay so many of us don't even when i say feed your soul it's like what <laughs> i'm barely in touch with my soul i'm like oh god all right well we got to go all the way back to the beginning which is fine we all have different timelines we're all on different journeys okay so without further ado once again we are going to start off the energy for the collective with gratitude Please show me, Spirit, what the collective needs to be grateful for right now in this present moment in their life. Flowers. Ooh, okay. The love of flowers. That's so dope. My dad gave me this today. And pink is the aura of Ariel, and Ariel is the archangel of the fairies <laughs> flowers fairies okay dope all right oh it's also let me not forget ascended master um nada you need to look into her too all right so flowers dre can you turn that down a little bit please dre so flowers are so colorful and lift and lift my spirits almost instantly when I look at them. I am grateful for all the pollen they provide for the bees and all the flowers. Not that much, Dre. Never mind. I'm grateful for all the pollen they provide for the bees and all the flowers that have medicinal properties that can help relieve all sorts of ailments. 
flowers make my home look so welcoming when others come to visit and make such a wonderful gift to others. Sometimes when I don't have the words, flowers can show. Turn it up, babe. I want you to have it up enough to hear it. I know, but just a little bit more for you. All right. So I know that whenever I receive flowers, I feel love and appreciated. Flowers signal that warmer weather is coming and help me get out into the garden. I love that they attract wonderful creatures <laughs> to the garden and they just make me feel so happy. Flowers are a symbol of so many things and hold valuable lessons about life. We were just talking about that. They are also unique and beautiful in their own way. They can turn into delicious fruit, vegetables, or nuts, which nourish my body. Flowers make the world look exquisite and help to decrease air pollution. They often spark creativity and romance. I am grateful for the gorgeous fragrance that so many flowers have that I get to enjoy. Flowers are really beautiful. This is on page 33, which is the age that Jesus was when he passed away. It's the age that Nipsey Hussle was when he passed away. All right. So let's get into this reading. Show me, Spirit. Where this um, past life of the collected, collective started out, what was one of their past lives? Wow. So this came out, all right, fell out of the deck, so I got it. Let me see. Hopefully y'all can see that. I don't know. It says, according to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs and a head with two faces fearing their power Zeus split them into two separate beings condemning them to their lives wow condemning them to their lives in search for their other halves play it says Plato's the symposium wow yo okay so clearly this was a past life okay can we clarify here let's clarify with the same deck because that is very interesting four arms and four legs and a head with two faces so condemning them to spend their lives in search for their other halves that makes so much sense Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search for their other halves. So this is twin flame energy, and I think I even said that at the beginning. Like there's, remember, twin flames can be platonic. Life is a great, and you can have more than one soulmate, and it does not have to be sexual or anything like that. You can have multiple soulmates for different reasons. Life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can. What? Throw all the paint on it you can. Wow, okay. Harmony is pure love, for love is complete agreement. Hmm. Adventure awaits, go find it. Okay, so. really did not want this to be about love like somehow spirit always finds a way to all right again it can be platonic but i'm picking up oh all right so split into two separate beings we were originally created with four arms four legs and a head with two faces fearing their power zeus split them into two separate beings condemning them to spend their lives in search for their other halves pretty self-explanatory right and some of you may have been artists in a past life but you're also an artist in this life whether it be music you have an ear for music like it runs in your both of you have a love for music painting hmm this is 
been how many past let's see he used this how many past lives I was just saying to my coworker today that we're all we all have a twin. And that to be true, but as well as just twin flames, okay? Two of Cups relationships misinterpretation. I just said relationship two. This was the most recent um decisions. Lovers. Didn't I say I didn't want to make this about love? better not lay down right. um, yeah so that's what I'm saying relationships decisions there's something that's being misinterpreted regarding this love connection this has been going on for okay so you guys have been in search for one another and where does the power come from it comes from within okay Codependency. Codependency. Gemini. Oh, I was talking about North Nodes. Yeah, so, and, and, and South Nodes. So, this misinterpretation within you again yeah so like I said codependency right looking for not think just this person outside of you like I feel like <clears throat> music is how you escape music is how you heal music is so many things all right But it's almost like <clears throat> there's illusions around your harmony. There's no harmony. Like, I feel like a lot of you, I'm getting a vision of like a, a, a fudge. A, um, let me see, let me move these off of here because... I feel like a bike, right? Like you, you look back or you have deja vu where like, damn, like I'm going through this again. It's like at some point you got to wake up and I feel like transformation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The subconscious mind we've got and transformation fell on, on life is a great big canvas. create it's like you can create anything music is how you manifest they want you to learn the lesson so you can manifest and create the life that in which you desire using karma look at that karma learn the lessons Karma can be beautiful as well. That's what I just heard. It's like karma, like karma is waiting to dish out what it is that you want, but you're, you're, you're not using your throat chakra. It's like, you're not telling, you're not manifesting. There's something that's whole. This is what has a hold on you. Like it's all good to be restful, be in her mode, but I feel like you've been too wrapped up in Code, like the codependency shit that I was talking about and channeling. So let's see about this karma. Oh, wait, let me pull the past lives. That's what I wanted to do. All right, so show me. Damn, <laughs> that's too much, too much. The reason it hurts, look at this shit. The reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. Oh, what did it say again? And I keep having to repeat this. Spirit keeps saying repeat it. 
Humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and heads with two faces. Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search for their other halves. And then I get the reason it hurts so much to separate is because your souls are connected. Like, let your life be an adventure. Your soul is craving adventure, life. Maybe, oh, like, fair to saying, like, if you paint or draw or write, like, use that to help you manifest. Use, like I said, music. The crying is over. Karma is ready to pay you. Again, karma can be good karma. It's the duality. Karma is waiting to, like, the universe, your team is waiting to... Hey, you, what's your do? You feel me? But a lot of you just need to step out of your cage. It's time. Okay? So souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. Again. Okay. Karma. Clarify. You ate it all? Spirit, clarify this karma. What what kind of karma? What what is going on? Be more specific. We, we know it's around like love and family and shit like that. Okay. Transformation keeps wanting to fall. Communion. Okay. All right. Age 23. All right. Yeah. I just heard that again. There was some type of communion. Or, I don't know. Yeah. All right. So. Communal living, Celtic, none. All right. There's a lot of it's already within you. It's almost like their souls are within you. Because remember, it was like everything is already within you. And then it says it hurts so much to separate. Because our souls are connected. We've got communal living and then we've got communion. Ishtar. Karmic soul partner, right? Harmony, balance. Libra, Libra and energy. This is a past life, okay? Monk or nun. Oh, all right. So you're waiting for your good karma because this is what you were. You saved yourself for spirit. You, you've you lived that, okay? Wow. Okay. Show me what else, spirit, from the past life. Okay. Stomach, 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 stomach. Suitcase. That goes along with the adventure. Yeah. Some of you want to like go away to like a retreat or like a spirit like a spiritual retreat or just a retreat or that's what would be best for you at this time you cried enough is what i'm hearing like balance didn't i say that going back and forth you needed balance with your living too in past lives. That may also be something that's affecting you. A secret. Show me what the secret is about. The secret from past lives. Is there any family secret spirit? A family secret that needs to be. Invest. 
intention, inner voice. Hmm. You may have invented something. We've got guidance. Let me, High Priestess. It's a family secret, right? Some of these people are on top of the earth. This, this reading it's going to come to light or like be at you're going to be activated by your guides to find out like more in depth so pay attention keep your eyes peeled for guidance for signs it's going to come through your own clair your clairs there was some type of invention that was yours and was taken away like you thought of something and then people tried stealing it or taking it Conclusions. The past is going to conclude. This is this is going to be over. Loyalty. Somebody was disloyal in a past life. Hmm. Spirit wants you to invent your inner voice. Because we had like you were a monk or a nun, right? So. You're pure. You dedicated your life to celibacy. And you had to travel to do this. Like you had to leave in order to do this. You were the guidance. Yeah, something that you create. Hmm. You may have even been the one that created like a certain type of ritual or a certain type of healing method a certain type of something and it was just taken control yep somebody wanted control it's like you didn't listen to your inner voice it was there but you didn't listen planning yeah they were planning and plotting They planned it out. It wasn't like it wasn't. It was premeditated for real. It wasn't grief. It wasn't something they did on the whim. On a whim. This is out. This is this is rolling over into this lifetime. Planning grief. Guidance in regards to grief. somebody fear okay so you fear the past you fear having a balance I'm not gonna say some of you are addicted to chaos but movement some of you may be dancers Sorry, y'all. I swear. They're going to be like, this bitch. 
movement. Some of y'all are a dancer, but it's different than that. Moving, travel. I don't want to move. Let's paint it dry. Movement, travel. I'm good. So some of you are going to move, okay? Some of you moved. In a past life. found your inner voice that i feel like that was what you're inventing that's what you invented that's what your guides want you to invent uh. mm, now i'm telling something else it's almost like the way that you are when it comes to loss we got independence the way that you are when it comes to like bad things like loss or a loss of a home a loss of like physical items you feel me like just loss in general your perspective is very different it's like you invented balance through fear pat your past loyalty because we can flip all of everything that i just said team has been trying to get your attention in regards to giving you guidance about moving through your fear in regards to your past so you can conclude this chapter right and in, you've been in but it's almost like you're an inventor you're a creator you're you're a lot right you've got drama independence Charisma and misinterpretation came out again. Drama is coming to a conclusion. Things like if things have been kind of all over the place at this point in time in your life, it's coming to an end. It's 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 at a it's at a standstill. Okay. There may even be drama around you that's being misinterpreted. The intention behind it. A lot of times we don't listen to hear. We listen to respond. You also have a misinterpretation of fear. There's a lot of confusion. I, you may have even... I'm hearing blunt force trauma, like something may have happened to your head. That, okay, fight or flight mode, being in survival mode, you're pumping out stress hormones. At, at a at a high speed yep look release releasing i just said did i just say releasing stress hormones i'm gonna have to go back bruh guidance is coming in quick because <laughs> it's time to plan it's time to be positive we got the sun positivity planning yeah your team really is trying to get this shit rolling and the ball moving the past is there for you to learn from move on from be guided from apply the mistakes come back better each and every day that you wake up when you when you're waking up to take a first your first breath in the morning somebody else is taking their last so you really need to be intentional about how you start your day i feel like you know what you're doing already the collective really it's time to just like wake up because whether you want to or not your spiritual team is like coming through and I feel like a lot of you are have somebody working on your behalf like in the physical realm like in a positive way we've got two people here looking at a rainbow positivity at a crossroads completion because you were brave you're about to receive a lot of growth yeah ten of cups 
cups. You need to decide. You need to decide what it is that you want to do. Don't have fake positivity. Have real positivity. Be real with yourself. You can be independent and be in a connection and have friendships and, and people that you lean on, people that support you. Planning for your independence. Moving toward that. Stop misinterpreting. You and your people, this, this person, either you or both of y'all are misinterpreting one another. And this may be like something consistent because I feel like a lot of you are, are moving in a, in a, not a higher state, but like you're better at expressing either one or both of you isn't as good as expressing or one of you is better at expressing have a lot of charisma but like i said in the beginning you need to tap into that feminine energy remain positive kindness yeah just be kind being kind goes a long way okay so let's see let's clarify positivity there's a lot of crowns in this in this um reading a, like your blood is royal you come from a in a past life like and even now into this one com conception so some of you may have like children with this person conception six plus seven sixteen seven some of you may have been with this person for seven plus years seven years seven may be a significant number let's see let's clarify seven Why'd you turn the TV off? Wow. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Nothing good. You're gonna fall asleep. Yeah, I'm right. Okay. Anyway, sorry y'all. Okay, so yeah, con conception. Yeah, some of you may have children with this person or conceiving a child. You were conceived. Oh, I said age seven, right? At the time of your conception. You, you're definitely a love baby, but at the time of your conception, let's see. There's a lot of love. You may have, there may be a total of four siblings, like a total like you and three other siblings. Distraction prospect, hmm. Conception, hold the fuck up. Okay, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and that we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. You are the main character of your life. Without you, there would be no story. Burdens. Yeah, you have got to let, yeah, there's, okay. A lot of you are all work, no play. There's a lot of burdens on your shoulders. That's the lesson that you have to learn from past lives is don't work so, so hard like manifest instead that's it like not enough people know about manifestation miracles believe in miracles and they will happen there's 33 again that's the second time we've seen 33 333 three, three. look into that angel number there is a direct message from your angelic team and ancestors for you 19 2019 there may have been conception Some of you may be overwhelmed when it comes to responsibilities. So somebody is going through a lot of grief right now and, and Spirit is saying, be kind. I know it's not easy for some of you, but karma you want good karma right try to think before you speak before you go off or say something you might regret words are very powerful and i feel like the two of you because you're one soul right the two of you because you're one soul things 
cut and feel that much more powerful because you're one literally you're one like i just heard magical like sex oh my god it's a delight <laughs> we've got delight here that's what i <laughs> hmm it's a delight isn't that some type of food or delight hold up delight that's not the the joints from Taco Bell. Delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we invoke in others. Didn't I just say that about when you're one soul with another person, like it feels that much deeper. So that's good and bad. Like imagine what the connection of the two of you could be if you stayed focused on creating joy and happiness like this has been going on for so long in this lifetime and past spirit your team does not want any more burdens placed upon either of you that's weird because this actually like when i say this is collective it really yeah yeah, it even resonates to me. I feel like you and your partner individually, independently, you guys have a lot of charisma about you, like charismatic people, individuals, kind people. I feel like there's just been a lot of, like it said, burdens placed upon you from even conception when you were in the womb, okay? You were a miracle baby is what I just heard. The conception was a miracle. You are the miracle. You are a miracle. That may have been, there may have also been something that was hidden from you as a baby. Hmm. Hold up. We getting a little deep now. Because we did have rebirths from Isis in the very beginning. And you remember, um, the story of Isis and Osiris so they were brother and sister but they were married and they had Horus and then Nephthys, Nephthys, Nephthys excuse me if I say her name wrong Isis's sister cloaked herself to look like Isis and had sex with Osiris to have a baby by him hmm. holy shit just got a vision of like a dragon when I closed my eyes and like the dragon was like you know how like when you touch something and it's hot it goes and like smoke kind of comes off of it like okay for example when you just got done cooking and there's oil in the bottom of a pan and you put cold water or water on it and it starts it goes and like steam comes up from it. I don't know. I when I closed my eyes, I had an instant vision of that. Some of y'all are spicy. That sex is spicy. Sexual healing that keeps coming up too. 41, 14, 4 plus 1, 5. Never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, and loving, and being. Exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. Yeah, so somebody is expecting there may be divine feminine. 
2021. Okay, so some of you had a baby in, in 2019 and then 2021. They are your joy. They are your delight. Divine Feminine, this message is for you. Okay, let me see something. Show us what you're trying to say from a past life in this case. Apply this to a past life wisdom, unicorn. Spouse. What? Medicine man or medicine woman. These are miracle babies. Just like you. You and this partner of yours. Health. We've got medicine man, medicine woman. Health. Your spouse. Miracles. Yeah, so this may have even had an effect. The conception may have had an effect on your health. Orphan. This is secrets from your past life. Remember. Persecution. Prospects, yeah, orphan persecution. Egypt. And then we had Celtic in the beginning. Asia. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Secret royalty. Didn't I say that earlier? Perfection, yeah. It's like you were perfect. There was jealousy that you were very gifted. And you still are. The devil obsession. Transformation twice. Things have got tumbling down. Things have got to change. And decisions have got to be made. Perception. Yeah, somebody's perception. You're not seeing the bigger picture. 35. Frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and take a good, hard, deep look at it. That's what you need to do, okay? Step into the unknown and take a deep look at it, okay? Your perception needs to shift and change. A new you is being birthed. Every level of you has got to change, transform. Some of you have deep obsessions that you need to transform and change. That doesn't mean that the parts of you that may seem negative or bad are bad or negative. Things are bad. That doesn't make you bad. That doesn't make... Not saying that, like, you don't need to take accountability and this person needs to take accountability, but 
at the end of the day, we made a choice, right? There's a lot of passion, yeah. Like I said, the sex, there's, there's a lot of good, deep, orphan somebody took you in under their wing clarify medicine man or woman I did say magic run through your family. Good and bad look, alchemy. As soon as I say that, magic. Ugh. Again, transformation. So, yeah, like, and you may just be tapping into this, like, in regards to, um, this lifetime, you know, learn the lessons, have remembrance on the lessons to apply them. Like, I feel like a lot of you were abandoned. Some of you may have been abandoned, but also in a past life. So you may have been abandoned literally in a past life, but also abandoned in this life. And that doesn't mean like some of you, yes, in this lifetime, like literal abandonment, or some of you just had abandonment from like loss of a parent, um, like death. Some of you may have been abandoned, like I said, literally. Some of you may have been abandoned emotionally, like all different types of ways, okay? Abandonment, period. And it affected your overall health, like literally. And you don't want that pain. You really need to work on, spirit wants you to work on healing the pain from your past lives and this lifetime seriously like and don't think that when i say healing that means all all <laughs> glitz and glam butterflies unicorns ice cream bubble gum okay lollipops no okay now at the end yes you will have heaven on earth literally but in that process no so we're going to see what Ascended Master is around you, guiding you at this time, most prevalent. And then we will end the reading. This reading was kind of like different in a sense of like kind of all over the place, but still. Oh, I forgot I had this. So there is also a lot of black, black magic going around within the collective. I'm sick of it. It's disgusting. All right. I'm a light worker. I represent the light, the pure, the divine, the God and goddess. And I must say on behalf of the spiritual community, we got to do better because we're setting an example for those who are in the dark, lost, don't have not a near, not a clue about their soul and their spirituality, their emotions, their emotional reality, their mental reality. And we have got to set a fucking example. Excuse my French, but I'm really getting, I'm tired and upset about all these fucking clients that I have 
that are like literally going through and even in my personal life work life like it, it, it's really out here like <laughs> we gotta do better yo and not even saying that and i'm bringing this up because i i was called to this when i put the camera on break my jinx remover i'm gonna put it on for you and as i put it on me because i am a vessel a messenger a spiritual alchemist i am a and a reiki master i am able to transmute this energy through my hands to the collective watching at this time if anybody is doing any form of black magic even with their words, they don't even have to be conjuring herbs, spells, and all of that. Speaking is a spell. Music is a spell. Everything that we do can format and manifest in a spell. Any black magic, any darkness, any ill intent being thrown to anyone watching this and the collective energy, rebuke and bind it. I send this jinx remover, any voodoo dolls, cancel them out return to sender with no harm to none blind these individuals with the light of divine energy this is unacceptable again with no harm to none i don't wish harm on nobody but there's too much harm being done to innocent people good people good and bad people we are all good and we are all bad but who's to say that it's your job to judge people and put car karma is already an entity that exists okay it is not your it is not your job to dish out karma she is a on time <laughs> energy okay so we've got Angel Bothiel, Rose Quartz, Heart Healing, beautiful. I actually put a, a Rose Quartz uh, bracelet around the stick shift of my spouse's car. So I'm going to be reading this. This is the Ascended Master Angel that is around you. I've actually never heard of this angel before. I'm going to be doing research on that. Okay, number 16. That's 16 twice. Conception. Something really happened at, at conception. Your father may not be your father. Sorry, trigger warning. Your father may not be your father. I would say your mother may not be your mother, but that that's kind of like... Well, yeah, that that's possible. Oh, shit. Anyway. Okay. 16, 16. 61, 61. 77. The year 77. I don't know. All right, so... I'm going to read it out the book for y'all. Sorry. I'm just um, kind of heart healing. And heart chakra did come out. Conception. But you're definitely a love child. There's multiple messages for whoever this is for. All right. So I'm just going to read the incantation in the first part of this. Because these can be long, as you can see. Okay. We bring you the gift of heart healing over many lifetimes. Your beautiful heart has loved and lost and loved again. Wow, you have learned how to feel joy, pain, suffering, and bliss. Your wise heart knows that life is filled with darkness and light. Oh my God. And it chooses to love the divine and participate in life anyway. You might, you might worry that your heart has been stretched beyond its limit, beyond closed or worry yet your heart is filled with divine grace power and course love it can it can and will heal itself to love again bigger bolder braver than ever before do not doubt the healing power of your heart there is power in your heart to heal through struggle and to joy and your heart has the gift of helping to heal others with love your open kind heart helps soothe others bringing comfort and reassurance to the world trust your heart and let it heal and guide you into the most beautiful and loving divine destiny waiting for you the heart is an incredible phenomenon it works on a physical level timelessly to keep your body alive 
It works spiritually to integrate the messages of the universal heart of the divine into your field, helping you receive guidance for your life journey. Amen. The heart is your wise guide, friend, and inspiration for your growth. Recognizing your heart is capable of being broken and growing back stronger and more loving as it heals is an incredible accomplishment and a reminder of just how amazing you are and truly powerful love can be. The heart also creates its own electric field. Wow, without saying a word, your heart speaks volumes. It can change the atmosphere in a room. Mm, look at how long this is. The thoughts in someone's mind, the feelings in their body, and create a container in which spiritual grace and light can enter to work its own brilliant form of healing magic. Didn't that come out? Heart healing, right? And then I said heart, and I did bring up magic, alchemy, beautiful thank you spirit eight plus eight equals 16. there is a wisdom to the heart that cuts through the confusion of the mind which the heart knows something it just knows even if there is every reason logically why the truth should be otherwise the heart works in an intuitive plane of insight rather than a logical plane of reasoning it can sense the truth of a situation in an instant where the mind may be able to argue one side than the exact opposite equally convincing before ending up somewhat confused the mind has great value and is a wonderful asset on the path but if we allow it to run roughshod over the truths of the heart we will miss out on so much beauty along our life journey Wow, it's taking a far longer time to get where we need to be. With this oracle, you are being given a layered message. Firstly, your heart is going through a healing. You are learning to open your heart and love yourself and the world in a new way. It will be a beautiful experience of greater closeness and connection to the divine. As your heart opens, there may be a clearing of old issues that have prevented it from opening more fully in the past. Bruh, this is everything I just said. These issues may be fear of abandonment. Bruh. Oh my God. Fear of abandonment, rejection. Woo! disappointment or betrayal there may be old issues to do with trust and feeling safe and being vulnerable that arise don't worry or believe you are going backwards on your healing path these are symptoms of heart healing of letting go and shedding past pain that came out too past even if grief oh my god grief came out grief sadness even if grief sadness arises let it flow and be released your heart wants to be free to love it and know how to heal itself honor and support this process by expressing your feelings and loving yourself as unconditionally as you can secondly your heart is guiding you leading you even pushing you through the deeper desires you feel within it is not foolish fancy speaking to you it is the genuine guidance of your heart encouraging your heart as you begin to understand the way it speaks to you then you can benefit from the divine wisdom it expresses which is already within you just waiting to be acknowledged finally never doubt never doubt the power of the of your heart to heal even the most seemingly intractable impossible situations you must detach from the outcome it will be for the greatest good, even if that doesn't match what, you, match what you think would be the best in the circumstances. But when you speak from your heart, divine feeling happens. Sorry. Hmm. When you place your hand on your heart and speak simply to the universe asking for healing on whatever issue is troubling you, you are using the power of your heart to trigger an outpouring of love from the universal heart. Ask for what you need, for what you want, according to your divine birthright. Know that your heart is your ally, your best friend, your guiding light with you for your entire life, shining the truth of unconditional divine love from within. Whenever you need reminding you are special, you are worthy, 
and you are absolutely loved. Here's this incantation to integrate for guidance. I call upon the crystal of the angel of Rose Quartz and Archangel Bothiel who love me unconditionally. Thank you for the divine gift of heart healing. Now, through divine mercy and unconditional love, may I come to know the full power, grace, and purity of my heart. May my heart be completely healed and restored to its full innocence, strength, and beauty. May all things that love, may all beings, sorry, may all beings know the love of the divine within them, bringing peace, comfort, and healing to every heart. Through divine compassion and my own free will, so be it. If you wish to further integrate this guidance, hold your hold the oracle card with the Mandela image facing inwards and resting at your heart chakra at the center of your chest. So you can just put your heart, your hands there, okay? So. And say out loud. I choose of my own free will through this and any lifetime, through all the layers of my entire being, to forgive and release any pain stored in my heart and any belief system associated with unresolved pain in my heart. I ask for this with divine mercy and compassion so my heart may be free to love. My love shine, may love shine through and true into my own heart and in the hearts of all beings. Through divine grace and unconditional love, so be it. Now get into prayer position, you guys, and say the following. And bow your head. May divine love fill the world. May all beings be happy and free according to the divine compassion. So be it. I love my beautiful, shining, radiant heart. My heart guides me with wisdom and compassion. I listen to my heart with respect. I love my heart and I give thanks for this beautiful creation of divine love that lives within me. May peace fill my heart. May peace fill all of hearts. Amen. I mean, amen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Spirit. I know that that reading was a little bit unorthodox and normal. Um, if you're interested in a personal session, Reiki, a reading, I would highly recommend all, as always, past life readings to dig deeper into this, to continue this, all right? as well as um, birth chart readings because a lot came out where I definitely feel it's definitely necessary, all right? Again, take what resonates. If it wasn't for you, it wasn't for you. Pick out parts that may have resonated and apply that, okay? Sending all of you love, light, and protection, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I